Okay, Debbie. You got this. One last stone. Let's see what the ravens have to tell me this time. Oh. God. God, I haven't had this much trouble with stones since I had my gallbladder removed. Yeah. TMD. <laughs> Look, man, I'm, I'm out of the game. I'm disclosing all the shit. You know what else? I like guys. I'm open about that. Really? Huh. Yeah. Did, I like girls. Yeah. We did was little well, that wasn't a surprise, little, was it? No, I mean you're 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 in the lesbian mafia. There's that. <laughs> Ruthless Ruth Fishkin. She sounds like a badass. I want to find out more about her. Well, that was as obvious as my sexuality. Yeah. In his honey dreaming, we shall carry him these new thoughts. These new memories. To Odin sleep. <laughs> Jack Kirby was not the best at names. Okay, so we followed the Mayans back south. A thousand years ago, I can barely remember what happened last night. Ugh, so many questions right now. That That is the least surprising thing I've heard KG say. Look, I don't care who hails from what myth. I'm interested in contemporary manifestations and topics of interest. You know who has made no secret of his obsession with Solomon Island. He still thinks he can control whatever's in that mountain. Points for ambition. We can place him there in 1667, I'm sorry, 1666, 1712, and 1959. If you want to place him there even earlier, go ahead. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Fun fact, still waiting on that sword. Oh. She's not getting that. Shove it up your ass. <laughs> Don't threaten her with a good time. Let's talk... Yeah, let's talk to her a bit. You picked the wrong part of the island for people watching, and the wrong season, too. I remember the old summers with those Matahando kids splashing in the river, the morning mist boiling off the march. Now you won't be spotting anything through this pea super. Um, does she know what's going on? I don't really get out further than the porch at all. Just sitting with a book and the whippoorwills. Henry Hawthorne would come out and try to save my soul every few months. And every time I tell him it's much too late for that. He likes to sketch the house. Says he's real big on late period architecture or something. I bet. He's trying to find more Illuminati secrets. And Helen Bam As you do. Luck, her gormless deputy, her duty bound to check I haven't died in my sleep and stunk the place up. She calls me Ellie, and I tell her, now you look... This should have been I funny. remember when you were still learning to walk. <laughs> oh. Not oh. fish and tragedies, that's Kingsmith. Much as I ever made of it. What happened to her father? Uh, this is Kingsmith, so probably something horrible. When Ed and I arrived over 40 years ago, this mansion was already chock full of baggage. And I mean the bad kind that people don't talk about. And heirlooms, too. Even before I realized that one had a lot to do with the other, I never threw anything out. Had my heart for it. All the little things people left behind were a part of the house. 
part of the haunting too. But I don't scare easy. With 13 cats and maybe a dozen ghosts, I've only got so much attention to go around, <laughs> to, to be honest. The cats cause me more trouble than the ghosts. Recently, I've been thinking of organizing the upstairs better, doing up the old rooms a little for them, let them know they're not forgotten. The ghosts, not the cats. All those empty rooms, sheets over everything. It's as if someone died. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd start out with that big old standing mirror in the attic, which I do believe belonged to Joanna DeVore. You know, one time, I caught a glimpse of Ed in it, like he used to be all done up in his Sunday best. I hardly felt surprised, but like a damn fool, I blinked. And he was gone. Aww. Aww. Well, maybe we should go take a look at that mirror. You know, I think that, like, this old lady could really work as a sitcom. What, snow lady in a house full of ghosts? Yeah, you got like Betty White, you know, she's a, uh, you know, she's like a, a t you know, a t an old lady, but she's cool. And she, you know, moves into her house and it's haunted. But she's like, you know, these ghosts are cool. I'm going to, th these are my new grandkids. This kind of creepy up here. Yeah. Do you hear something? I kind of hear like a thumping. Oh, it's a... A history brochure. I guess they used to do tours of this. This does not go with this does not go with the decor at all. Probably I think they must have done tours before um, Franklin's moved in. Yeah. More than one hundred years ago, this imposing mansion is haunted by the ghosts of many tragedies. Nineteen oh four, a serving girl dies after being accidentally locked in the storage cellar. Yeah. Nineteen eighteen tragedy befalls the entire Delapore family in mysterious circumstances. Oof. And in nineteen sixty six, it was the site of the infamous Solomon Island Artist Commune massacre. The killer Billy Lee. B. Lee. It is Billy? Huh. Oh shit. Billy's muse. Oh shit. I should check out that thing. Yeah, and kill it. Probably. Mm -hmm. And he's incarcerated this day in Arkham State Hospital. Well, that's comforting. Ish. There is that thumping. And the screams. Told you. 2012. How do you know it's 2012? Kiss the calendar. I checked. I checked the dates. That's. See, this is. Well, okay, I guess it could be next year, but I think we can rule that one out. Or can we? Yes, we can. You you actually checked the dates on the calendar just to... Okay. You know what? That's fucking good initiative. I like that. Investigations show the horrific injuries on the bodies could not have been inflicted by human hands. Yet the Wabanaki were accused of seeking revenge, and many of their tribe were jailed without proper trial. The miners, migrant workers with no family, were forgotten and buried in an unmarked grave where the weeds still grow warped. Oh, that's the one in Kingsmouth. Yeah. I guess the other zombies must have just been lying around, like, or buried in the mine or something. I mean, God, there's just, there's just too fucking many mass graves. Hey, I, I feel something ominous from this mirror. I don't think I should touch it. That would probably be a good idea. Yes, I am. Yes, I sense something ominous, and I sh no, I should not touch it. That's why I'm going to touch it. De wait, Debbie. God damn it! This is the this is the idol all over again, Debbie. Ah, cursed things get in my head so easily. It's yes, it's almost like there's a curse on them. But I mean, they get in my head, and they just kind of—I mean, I don't like feel the uh, irresistible tug of them. I just—they just kind of sneak in. God, don't ever get in the same room as the history eraser button. 
There's a history eraser button. It's a Ren and Stimpy reference. I I I could not tell. I mean, I know that's a reference, but well, you know, oh, okay, that's not a ghost. Okay. I yeah, that it. It's hard to tell that's not a ghost, and it's hard to tell that there's not a history eraser button. I mean, would that be so unusual? There is evidence of history having been erased. Okay, so let's see. Where am I? When am I? Whoa. Oh. Well, at least this one has a date. Wait, 1904. That was on the thing. That was when the girl was locked in the um, basement. Is this... Okay. Well. I feel like this isn't the history as it happened. Like, this is not... This is... They wouldn't be the ghosts already. I mean, maybe there were ghosts... I mean, who knows when this place was built? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure the bees have an yeah. idea. Yeah, well, shush. But this was this is some symb- more symbolic than real, I think. Mm. Oh, hi. I grew tall. You did. Uh, oh. I don't, I don't, no, you, you showed me that before. You did the She-Hulk thing. I know, but then I was just... Then as soon as I said that, I shrank again. <laughs> you jinxed it. Yeah. Oh! She's still alive! Shit. Then came the other owners of the house. A parade of unfortunate souls. One by one we watched them go in. Not all came out. Let us count them off, sweetling. One by one, song by song. Jiggity jig. First was Phileas Flag. He did not spend much time there. More is the fortune and the luck. Okay, wasn't that the guy from Around the World in 80 Days? No, that was Phineas Fogg. I think you're making that up. So, hold on a second. This is definitely an alternate mansion. This is not the history. This is... Yeah. So, okay, why were the servants bitter? And what... And wait, if this place was full of servants, why did no one let her out of the basement? Maybe they were all in on it. Why would they lock her down there? What'd they have to be bitter about? Enough to murder a young... Servant girl. Hmm. Wait. Why is there only one cot? I don't know. Hmm. There's something here that I'm not getting. Uh, abandonment. Uh, okay, so I got the basement key. Let's see what happened down there. Another bitter servant. Wait, what? That's one of her cats. I mean, it could just be like a cat with the same name. Think about that. So the housekeeper was carrying the key that locked her in the basement. Mm. Oh, wait a sec. I have an idea. I think I might need to know more, but... Maybe she might have been... One of the owner's special favorites. Oh, no. She was just 16. Yeah. And... 
Okay, the butler did it. Okay, it looks like the butler did it. Really? I mean, e even in 1904, that had to have been an old trope. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Fuck you, butler. The owners were away when it happened. The servants were alone. And I think they conspired against her. Mm -hmm. The butler and the housekeeper being... Yeah. Leading it. Mm. When am I now? Oh. Okay, so this this one is where this is the family that died under mis unusual circumstances. Whoa, oh, shit. that's very Shadow. unusual. Yeah, they were killed by the Heartless. I think you might actually be right. I hate when I'm right. Next came Jonathan and Margaret Delapore with their young son Thomas. They sought fresh air in quaint country. Margaret gave birth to two beautiful girls. They were so happy. Happiness can die in the time it takes to open a door. And Jonathan discovered the hidden library of Frank DeVore. Late night readings, unspeakable secrets, paranoia, public ranting, the tears of his wife begging to leave Kingsmith, three children and one wife. Four gunshots before Jonathan put the rifle barrel in his own mouth. I saved my family from evil, said the note. City officials, Illuminati all, covered up the deaths. Now the family rests in the mansion's garden in unmarked graves, together forever. Oh, oh that's fun. Shit. Jesus. <laughs> Thomas, please come inside. Oh. Um. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, most of these are fakes. So I gotta figure out what the real one is. Just shoot all the kids in the head. There are flaws with that plan. Look, none that the Illuminati can't cover up. Okay, I'll just keep my distance from them until I figure this out. Okay, standing mm -hmm. still and running away are likely spirits. Mm-hmm. Wait, cat. Yes, follow the cat. Arkham. Okay, look, this is not a coincidence. I will admit that there is something spooky. Coming, Mom. I mean, look how different the mansion is now. I don't think that was... Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I know I can't leave, but I just want to see. Yeah, it's kind of peaceful. <laughs> 